Hey everybody, Mr. Love here. Um, and uh, right now I just want to uh, follow up to our uniform circular motion discussion and take you through a, a very simple uh, centripetal force problem. And, um, and, and we already know things like the direction of the force on the object and the direction of the acceleration. Um, and both of those um, are towards the center of the circle. So we can draw this arrow and label it F. That's the direction of the force. And we can go ahead and, uh, and do the same thing with acceleration. And acceleration is also towards the center of the circle. And so what I want to do now is talk about how we solve this problem in terms of uh, solving for the centripetal acceleration and the centripetal force. The, uh, the two equations that we have um, are these. We can solve for centripetal acceleration, and that's equal to V squared divided by R. And centripetal force is equal to, just like any force, mass times acceleration. Um, so that's mass times centripetal acceleration. Um, or we can sub this in there and say that mass V squared divided by R just by combining those two equations. So let's work this out. Um, we have our variables defined. We have the velocity, we have the mass, and we have the radius of the circle. So the centripetal acceleration AC is equal to V squared divided by R that's equal to 3 meters per second squared divided by the radius, which is 2 meters. If you solve that out, the centripetal acceleration is equal to 4.5 meters per second squared. <laughs> Taking that and plugging it into the centripetal force equation, um, we can solve for Fc, and that's simply equal to mass times centripetal acceleration. So that's equal to 10 kilograms times 4.5 meters per second squared. And so we solve for the centripetal force, and that is 45 newtons. And again, the correct statement is, is that the centripetal acceleration is 4.5 meters per second toward the center. Okay, and the centripetal force, again, is 45 newtons toward the center. Okay, that's it, and uh, talk to you next time.